Hey guys, Alex the Vegan Gamer. We're playing Bayonetta, and right now I just got something. Uh, this symbol graces only the hottest of the hot items in my shop. If you're not sure what to go after, look for a base you can trust. Rodin, the store manager. Alright. Uh, don't have a lot of weapons yet. These are expensive. What does this do? Alright you guys, I don't have a lot of money so I don't think I'll be buying anything here for now. I'm gonna have to come back. I mean lollipop. I don't need those, this is the beginning of the game. Probably things to heal me. Oh, new techniques. You dodge. Oh, that could be useful, stiletto? I might get that. Maybe I should wait, I don't know. Slash into an appointment? Uh, appointment. <laughs> Not an appointment. Slash into an opponent with incredible quickness and deliver a devastating trusting attack. Can also be performed in midair. Alright. I'm gonna get this. Um, oh, I can try it first. That's kind of cool. All right, I'll try it. So I move towards the enemy. And what's this? Is this it? Oh, this is it. Can also be executed by holding R1 and pressing towards an opponent with L and like Is this it? I guess this is it. I should get this. I'm gonna get it, you guys. It seems pretty awesome. Alright. Bye. What about Dodge Air? Should I get that one? Hmm, uh, whatever. I'll get this one. Oh, what about the other ones? I can try all of these. Slide heal first up to an appointment for long distance. Alright, let's try it. So it's L plus L. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I prefer this one by far. Definitely gonna get this one. Alright, let's exit and try another one. Tetsuzanko. That one's more expensive though. Let's try it. While moving? Wait. Backwards? The forest? I press triangle. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, that's also very good. Heal stomp. Oh, that's right. Backwards forward? I kind of shock stone. Okay, in break dance. Oh, that should be funny. Hold on, R2. Movement is possible during this attack. Whoa! <laughs> I love this. Oh, this one's even better. <laughs> that one's easy. I should get that one. Afterburner kick. Let's go ahead and try that one. Alright, ascending press O oh, immediately after executing a jump. Descending while jumping. Okay, direction and out. Oh, I love that one. It's hard to choose now. I don't like the fact that I have to use it while going down. I have to wait. Guess I'll have to time my jumps. Oh, I have more coming soon. Uh, which twist? Okay, let's try this one. Press triangle while holding R2. They're also very interesting, it's gonna be hard to choose. Umbran portal kick. Huh. So press circle while holding R2. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I think I should just teleport it into a sexy pose. Alright, which one do I get? He wants me to get those ones. I should try the air dodge. That's the only one I haven't tried so far. I'll try it. While I'm in air, press R2. Considering that I don't like dodging too much, I think I'll get something else. I wasn't too fond of Stiletto. Hmm. I'm gonna get this one. Although, he did recommend getting that one. I'll try it again. I'll get that one. It's probably round up using it more often than the other one. Bye! Alright. Rodin's treasures. What's that? Alright, let's exit this place. Maybe I should go and check out the items. Green lollipop, probably. Healing properties probably heals me more. Energy increasing the extract increases one's attack temporarily for a longer time. Oh, this one creates a magical barrier. We 
recovers one's magical powers. Red hot shot. <laughs> what is that? Uh, wondrous demonic medicine that can save a witch from the depths of mortality. Automatically uses when vitality is depleted. One per customer. I don't have enough money to have it, but I don't need it. It's the beginning of the game. Oh, these might have been useful, but... Whoa, I'm gonna need way more. Way more uh, halos than what I have right now. Where are they all? Made by Matriona, a witch from the Principality of Moscow. Divide oneself into multiple beings? What did this one do? Used to summon the infamous band of demon youth known as the Little Devils. Huh. Police Butterfly. It's said that long ago, the witch Tyrando crafted this treasure while in the service of the Queen Lhasa, hoping that the butterfly would give users divine protection. Butterflies of protection flutter around the bracelet's user, absorbing attacks on their behalf before breaking up. Does that mean I can only use it one time? Oh, I can activate it for a while, but it depletes my magic dodge. Selene's Light. An ancient brace crafted by the Egyptian with Cleopatra. When its wearer's attack, which time will be instantly triggered, expanding magical powers. As leader of the Egyptian practitioners of magic, Cleopatra developed this guard to assist those who had trouble grasping the finer points of witch time. The Star of Dinita, American Navajo. Legend states that these braces were crafted by the witch known as Yelnaldoshi. They allowed their user to replenish their vitality by taunting an enemy. Turquoise turned as a source of magical powers is still in use today in Navajo talismans. Evil Harvest Rosary. Alright, so those are magical bees crafted by the witch Aiko while in the service of the ancient Japanese queen Hamiko. When its user dodges incoming danger, the bees will launch a magical counter strike against the attacker. While the attack is incredibly powerful, it sucks the emotional strain from its user, stripping them of the ability to activate witch time. Gaze of Despair. Cursed braces containing the souls of Muso Koruni, an ancient African goddess said to be the goddess of discord. Placing these braces upon one's arm is said to be an affront to Paradiso, summoning upon its wearer the wrath of the heavens. During the witch hunts, the Malanese witch Karaba was forced into these gauntlets, in which she was brutally murdered by angels. Ooh, harsh. This one's way more expensive. Moon of Marakala. Braces blessed by Shiva, the Indian goddess of destruction, said to have been crafted by the witch Yaksi while serving the Vija Yanagara Empire. Legend states the braces have the power to repel an enemy's attack. Yakshi was purported to have been invincible as her mastery of this technique allowed her to nullify any attack no matter what the strain. Did they write technique correctly? I don't think so. Oh well, I don't have enough money to buy any of these. And what about the weapons? Yeah, coming soon. Alright, we're gonna leave this place and head back. So, let's see how it goes. Do I, do I want to exit? Yes, I do. Alright, you guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. 
as I continue my play of Bayonetta. Don't forget to save the animals, kick some monsters' butt.